Welcome back everyone to Undertale. As you might see, we're not really in this place we were. That's because I hit record and um uh, Yeah, it didn't really go as I planned. You didn't really miss much. Alright. Welcome everybody to Snowden. Wow! Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I would like to buy something. How much do I have? I have oh I'm stacked. What is a tough glove? Uh, five attack? Don't really need it. <laughs> it says slap him. Manly bandana? Uh, defense? We can do that. Yeah, we can do that. It has, like, armor. I'll get that. And what is a bicycle? Heels. Oh, you can eat it twice. All right, let's get a lot of that. Yeah, you're carrying too much. Shush. Shush. Bye now. Come again sometimes. I will. So how do you equip stuff? Oh, there you go. I did not- I <laughs> did not know what I pressed. Um, item. Uh, manly bandana, and I'm gonna use that. You equipped the manly bandana! I did! Wow! Wow, that feels great. Oh, hello there. That lady over there? Something about her disturbs me. What? She's just... Getting her mouse out, you know? Isn't my little cinnamon, cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. What do you mean? Th there's nothing wrong. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster present to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put up presents underneath a decorated tree. So it's like Christmas, but not really. Yo, what is that? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can't tell you because you're wearing a striped shirt. Fair enough. Fair enough. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's even ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish a lady about it. That's politics, I, I guess so. Real bees. Ooh, what do you got there? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join. I would. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. That is valid. That's a valid reason. We all know the underground has problems, but we never smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why morose about it? That's a really good mindset. I appreciate that. What's up here? Is that a mustache rock? Ah, to be young again, the world sure must have felt boundless. Sure, Mr. Rock. Knock, knock. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer. I'll hear it again. I did it. Ah, my patience rewards me. All right, you're not gonna open, are you? All right, let's not go there. What was that? Is that an ice factory? Is that a wolf? What are you gonna do with that ice bow? Look at those muscles. Man, I wish I had that. But I do. Library. Wait, lie. Light, light burby. <laughs> All right. Something tells me this is the skeleton house. It probably is with with the skeleton flag. All right. That's an igloo. All right. Cool. Everything has gone quiet. Why has it gone quiet? I did not know. Something ominous. I'm in a snowstorm. Please help me. Oh, that's me. <sighs> that's my pirates. Human, allow me to tell you, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Somehow, I feel like you're an old friend, even though I've ever actually met you before. I can't explain why I feel this way. Did I meet you online? Uh, no. I had, like, really different dialogue when I did not record this. Does it? No. Ooh. I have so many social media connections. It's hard to keep up a tra It's hard to keep track all of all of them. Just a dozen more and I finally reached double digits. Hey, wait a second. You can be my friend. You're a human. That's kind of racist, but you're a human. I can't believe you almost tricked me into defeating you. Not defeating you. Whoopsie doopsie. Oh boy. <laughs> Papyrus blocks the way. You already know what I'm gonna do. What? F flirting 
Your final review, your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. I can make spaghetti though. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Oh yes, thank you. Let's date later, after I something. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Gonna mercy you now, Papyrus. So you don't fight? No, I'm I'm a pacifist. Then let's see what you can handle with my favorite favorite blue attack. Oh, I'm blue now. You're blue now. I <laughs> I sure am, buddy. That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. I sure am. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Something very f oh damn it, I did not mean that. A pirate dabs some bone calling behind his ear. He doesn't have an ear. Try holding the up button to jump. Thank you. I was aware. Papyrus dabs this Mariana sauce behind his ear. Alright. What? I'm not thinking about the date thing. Oh, Papyrus, don't worry, worry. I am an I'm a handsome fella. You sure you better be really well dressed, Papyrus. Papyrus dabs MTT brand by Bishy behind Bishy cream behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Oh, what is your special attack, Papyrus? Ooh, this is actually kind of hard, but it's fun. I can almost taste my future popularity! Papyrus, you're already cool enough. I don't get why you don't have any friends, dude. Oh, you sneaky son of a gun! Papyrus! Papyrus! The head of your royal god! Ooh! Papyrus! Unparalleled spaghetti door. Ah, oh damn it! Don't move. Jump. Oh no! I'm losing health. All right, I gotta eat. I gotta munch. Um, ice cream. An illustration of a hug. Oh, nice. Undyne will be will be really proud of me. I already am proud of you, Papyrus. So don't hurt me too bad. Then we can be- then we can be friends. God damn it! <laughs> Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Oh. The king will trim and hedge in shape of my smile. I'm sure he will, Papyrus. Papyrus is cackling. Uh, Bandage. Gonna do bicycle. You eat one of them. Oh, okay. That's cool. My brother- well, well, he won't change very much. <laughs> Sounds won't change very much? That's likely, yeah. My parents are considering his options. I'll have lots of admirers, but... But what? Oh, damn it! But what, Papyrus? Tell me. Damn it. Maybe don't tell me. Yeah, maybe I'll die. It smells like bones. How do you know how it smells like? Well, anyone like me sincerely as you? No. I am the one that really likes you, Papyrus. There's no one else in this underground that likes... Yeah. God damn it. I won't like you very much if you kill me, though! Papyrus is rattling bo his bones! Someone like you is really rare! Oh, you know that. Haha. <laughs> you know. Shabba dabba, what the hell? Papyrus is trying too hard to play it cool. And dating might be... Kind of hard. Why? I don't think so, Papyrus. Dating is really easy sometimes. You just gotta have the feelings. After you are captured and sent away. That's true, maybe don't do that. Whoa! Okay, I've ate health. Time to munch on a unicycle. You eat unicycle, you, you recover A11 HP. Ah, who cares? Give up! No, I have determination, I will not fear. Oh, you see that with those movements, Papyrus? It's it's because of you. Give up or face my special attack. Whoo! Damn it! 
Pyrus' whispers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very soon I will use my special attack. He sees I actually am struggling with this one. So he does it again. That's not cool, Papyrus. Papyrus is cat. I know you. Not too long and I will use that special attack. All right, we got an easy one. We can do this if we don't screw it much up. Bandage. Oh, we have another bicycle. Yeah. This is your last chance before my special attack. Damn it, this is one of the hard ones. Oh, what a, what will a special attack be though? Oh, that was it? Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Oh, you tell me that, Papyrus. Behold, my special attack! Dog? What the heck? <laughs> That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just have to use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is now getting ready for a regular attack. Ha! Uh, he is absolutely a normal attack. Oh shit, you still hit me though. Good job, Papyrus. Oh god! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> uh! Stop it, Papyrus! Oh, that's a dog. Cool. Dude. Yeah, you're very cool, man. Oh! Wait. No, don't do that! Oh, damn. What the? Okay. <laughs> is this a trap? Is is this a trap? I think it is a trap. Papyrus, are you tricking me into something, buddy? Please don't be tricking me into something, buddy. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you're shaking your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect you to grant your pity. Well, I suppose spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Sure, man. Sure. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even stop as someone as weak as you. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm so strong, you do not know that. Undyne is going to be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard, and my friend Quantity will remain sick, stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends, or what a loser? <laughs> Let's be friends. Really? You want to be my? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, we we have never had a first date, and I already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that, that all I needed was some pals? Was to was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permissions to pass through. And I'll and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then when you reach the capital be then when you then when you cross then when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical spell trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except some with a really powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with a soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he is a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll just guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Damn, I really got into that role. <laughs> All right. So, where are we going now? Oh, we are- that- that is... Water. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's totally the, she's the coolest, right? I wanna just be like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here, haha. <laughs> I won't. 
This is an echo flower. It pretty much the last thing I think it heard over and over. So it will repeat what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. All right. Save. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Yes, it does. Hello, Sans. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs mean twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill this. Wanna come? Yeah, I'll come with you. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast yeah, shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here before breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. A whoopee cushion. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes we just put the whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's let's order. What you want? I want a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Really? We'll have to well have a double order of a burger. Burg? Burg? So, what do you think? My brother. It's really cool. Of course it's cool. It'll be cool too if you wear that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he had absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he showers with it. <laughs> oh burger. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes, please. Want a petite? Good joke. You tip the ketchup. The cap that falls off and all the ketchup is pour some on your food. Great. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how, like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. Of course, he shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing the dedication, she decided to give to him a warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Fair enough. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you, ask you something. Uh-oh. Have we ever heard about a talking flower? I have. So you know all about, all about it. The echo flower. They are all over the map. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, a Paris told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using the an echo flower to play tricks on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I will. Well, that was my long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. All right. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. <laughs> Can you foot the bill? It's just... Just kidding. Will we? Put in my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, I want to have that date with Papyrus now. That's going to be awesome. This is dead. Papyrus. Hello, Papyrus. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you somewhere really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Where are we going, man? Oh, we're making a U-turn? My house! <laughs> right, well, hold up, Papyrus, I'm going in. Oh, boy. Hello. Welcome to the scenic 
Welcome to the scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Well, is that a TV? It's a TV. Are you following me, bud? Oh, I'm done. I just don't worry. Don't worry. Welcome to the scenic house. Oh. All right, what's up here? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they're on a date. Sure. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a really cool carpet you got there, buddy. So, um, if you've seen my- if you've seen everything, do you want to go- do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes. Okay, dating start! Dating start. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before, but I don't worry! You can spell- You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! That's true. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We are- We are ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step 1. Press the C key on your keyboard for a dating hunt. Wow, we! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two! Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem! Human, I, the Creep Papyrus, will go on a date with you. <laughs> what if I just say- what if I flat say no? Really? Wow, we! I guess that's- that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show your care. Hmm. Wait a second. We're clothing? That's been a bandana around your head. Around your head. You've go <laughs> You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to you've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes, that's exactly my plan. Did I kill him? No. You planned it all! You're way better <laughs> at dating than I am. No! Your dating power! <laughs> Don't you think you, you bested me yet? I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten in dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I do can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. And some- just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Oh, that's a cool dude. Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of, a, of this outfit. Therefore, what do- what you just said is invalid. This date won't go escalate any further, unless you find my secrets. But that won't happen. <laughs> There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and... <laughs> okay. What's underneath her hat? My hat? My hat! My hat! <laughs> well, well then, you find my secret! I suppose I have no choice, it's a present! A present just for you! Is that spaghetti? Do you know what it is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong! This ain't- this ain't the plain old pasta! This is it- this is an artisan's work! Like silicon spaghetti, fine age, and oak, in an oak cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to... Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. <laughs> Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste like in... It, the taste is indescribable. What? A passion expression! You must be really- you must really love my cooking! And by- by extension? And by- and by extension me? 
Maybe I... Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Uh, uh, no! Did I do it? What did I... What the hell happened? Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for to express my feelings. It is time that I told you I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is this, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I do not like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried to very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on that date, feelings would be blossomed forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the creep of Iris, have failed. I feel like... I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into, into an intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through <laughs> the, these times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like all this never happened. After all, you are very great. It will be tragic to lose all your friendship. So please, do not cry because I won't kiss you because I don't have any lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for a second best. <laughs> All right, that went pretty well. Oh, and if you ever need me, and it, oh, and if you ever need me, it, oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> well, that was an experience, wasn't it? Wow, that was great. Locked to closet. Oops. Closer hung up. Neatly inside. Fair enough. Wow. What was that? This rock is conserved in sprinkles. Okay. Well, sorry for the really short episode. Um, yeah, I really don't have much time to record this, but thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!